Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. I am feeling rough. Um, definitely got a bug. And I don't actually have to do anything today. Um, I had a message from the people who I'm doing cat sick for, who said their son has now returned home. Um, he flew home yesterday. <coughs> And he doesn't, uh, he doesn't need me to come in. He's going to look after the cat for the next three days. And I was like, oh, excellent. Because I would have had to get dressed and go out today. Obviously, they don't know I'm feeling ill. Um, and I would have cracked on anyway, regardless. But it does mean I don't have to go anywhere. It does mean I can stay in my pyjamas and stay in my bed for the whole day, which I never do. Whether or not I manage it is another matter entirely, because we all know I'm not very good at doing that. I do have my support team. I am currently drinking tea that Kenzie has just made me. I don't even know what the time is. Oh, it's half twelve. It's not morning at all. I've been dozing on and off. I am listening to podcasts around energy healing. Um, and also about more sort of psychic based powers. I've always had images in my head of things. So, images of people that I expect to see in buildings. It's very strange. Houses that I've lived in, this is the only house I've not, never had an image of. Um, but when I've lived in a house particularly, I've had images of people I expect to see. And I've always wondered if that is a residual energy coming from the building of people that lived there in the past, maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm doing a little bit of reading up about that. <coughs> but I think I'm definitely going to stay in bed today. And uh, yeah, well, I need to be well for tomorrow because Lee and I need to go and cancel Kenzie and Brendan's uh, phone contracts because they're going with a new provider. And uh, we need to do a food shop because we don't have a lot of food in the house. So, well, we do. We do have food in the house. But nothing that's like easy to make. We have ingredients, but nothing that is easy. And I'm not cooking anything hard at the moment. We have bits. We have tins of things. So we could survive if need be. Anyway, this is hurting my throat. So I'm going to go back to drinking my tea. I'm still full of cold, but I've had to come out. So coming to Dunelm and I've been looking for one of these. These are now on sale. How comfy that is. Anyway, let's go to Dunelm. Right, I need a bottom sheet for Kenzie. Like a fitted sheet. And I want it black to go with this new lightweight washable duvet that I got him. It's like a cotton satin. I want a good quality one. That looks quite good quality. Fitted sheet, 28 centimetres. Fitted sheet, 32 centimetres. Oh, I don't know which it is. Will that be the depth? I'm going to go with deeper. To be on the safe side and some pillowcases. Is that two pillowcases? Yes. And they're 11 pounds. And this was... This was 18. We're in town now and Lee has suggested a McDonald's. I desperately need a cup of tea, I haven't had one yet. So a cup of tea would be very nice, it'll help me soothe my throat as well. I need to use the pound shop and he needs, we need to go and sort out contracts for phones. It's Ozzy's birthday in a few weeks and I'm planning ahead and looking for ideas for his birthday. Right up there they've got a fire case, but I don't know if they've got any police cases. I might have to go and ask at the counter. Well, I totally missed this section here that was literally right behind me. <laughs> I'm a Muppet. Magnesium boost. Thanks very much. I'll my way again. Holland and Barrett is the next one. You're going for chocolate, are you? Some of your wizard chocolate is zero sugar. Orange one, that one. It's on sale as well, half price. 
Or is it buy one get one for get one half price? Buy one get one half price. Yeah. Buy one get one half price. Or maybe I should get the two of them or get something different. That's very good for joints, isn't it? And if it's buy one get one half price, I'll spend more on that one and get the other one cheaper. Turmeric joint house. Yeah. This is a bit of potluck now. Come into Home Sense and I'm looking for an outdoor chair, a nice comfy outdoor chair. Oh wow, look at that dog toy. The bigger versions of what my boy's got. Sidetracked. Um, I don't even know if they have an outdoor section to be honest, it might all be indoors. Oh, I'll tell you what I do want. A little scrubby brush like they have at work. Like this. Like that, in fact. Exactly like that. What is that, £4.99? Could do with a new doormat as well. Oh, I've dropped that. Clearance section. Oh, I've just noticed they've got outdoor stuff here. Maybe there'll be something down the middle. There was nothing upstairs. nice so I opted to get that chair it's really nice it's 40 pound it's reclining I mean it's I don't know the the non wooden ones were like 70 pounds over at Dunelm um, and then I got these that was 12 pound for the two pack and I managed to get bath salts for 2.99 pack um, and that little scrubby brush thing. They've got nice uh, multi grain there. Yeah, I don't want anything to uh, get some nice five minutes. Yeah. That one? Yeah. 85p. I was told the best watermelons, you have two fingers between the lines. He wants us to drop off lunch for him, so he's requested a chicken salad. He also wants a pop to go with that. Uh, pop. What about a Pepsi Max? Can you grab that, please, love? Did you want some ginger? Thanks. Might get him some fruit as well. Uh, mango. Looks a bit of mango, doesn't he? First of August, we'll get him that. Lee is picking what he wants, what these three, no, how much are they? It doesn't say, does it? Do you just want that one, cheese and bean? Or do you want a ham and cheese? Oh, I'd rather have a chicken tikka. They got chicken tikkas? No. 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 Ham and cheese is still... Don't know how much those are, because it doesn't seem to have a price. There you can go in. Can I get him some spring rolls? What are they? 159. Oh, those are reduced. Don't want the reduced ones. Go to the back. What is that? Spring rolls. 2nd of August. Smoky bacon. Um, I'm going to go with the cheaper option. I don't know what's 
gonna get chicken thighs, chicken thighs, because they're great in the air fryer. I can take them with me as well if they make it through the weekend. It's at 2.49. Uh, mature, we got any mature? That's only mild there, isn't it? Mature grated? Oh, up here, mature. 199. I'll get two. Right, let's get those. Responsible eggs. That's what I like to hear. Just looking at the Pokemon Lego, which is uh, priceless. Doesn't actually say anywhere how much the Pokemon Lego is. They've also got Minecraft Uno in Lidl, Dino Labs, Nature Labs, and Minecraft Tops, different colours. They are £3.99 each, and tracksuit buttons are £5.99, various ages, various colours. We're now in farm foods. We have got the freezer down to a couple of drawers empty, so we're going to fill it up now. And I've also got myself a huge box of these because I'm going to be out of the house for about a month at different jobs. And I use the peppermint tea bags, so it seems more polite to buy my own. Oh, we need to pay for parking. I forgot about that. We've been here hours. Actually, it's gone 12. I can't believe it's gone 12. I'm flagging. I have probably emptied my bank account. I've spent a lot of money on food. I bought myself a chair and some cushions. Toiletries, Aussie's birthday presents. Yeah, I've been on it. I don't think I've got anything left in my bank account. <laughs> it's okay. Lee's gone to sort out the payment. <laughs> He's checking out what the uh, registration is because obviously it's a courtesy car. I've not told you about this. I'm in a courtesy car again. The Franken Turbo on Spog uh, isn't working. And that um, is a result of, well, I guess franken turboing it it wasn't an official it wasn't an official part it was a franken turbo it was having to put several parts together to make one because when you order the part the pressure valve pressure tube pressure vacuum pipe whatever is on the wrong side even though the part for the van is what the part says it is when the manufacturers send it to you it's wrong or the suppliers send it so they've been on the phone to the actual manufacturers factorers to talk about it and then these guys are actually sending them full details or sending them a custom-made part or something I don't know anyway it should be fixed and it shouldn't cost me anything and it shouldn't be a Franken turbo by the end of it but yeah I'm still in a courtesy car that's my new chair there so that was 40 pound for the chair and then those things were £12 for the two of them. It's quite comfy. And I can bring it in, keep it in here when it's not in use. Uh, what I could do is take that down. I don't need that and maybe put the chair here. I'm a little bit worried the dogs will chew it though. Because they've chewed everything in here. Look, chewed this. And they've chewed this. Maybe I shouldn't put it in here. <laughs> <laughs> they've chewed this I don't want them chewing my chair and they've trashed this they just chew all the furniture so maybe it's best going into the living room I don't know I am feeling more human now definitely feeling more human not quite so fatigued my sore throat has gone which well it's gone it comes back but it's gone mostly um, and that's the bit that's been driving me crazy apart from the fatigue um, I do still have a cough and I do still feel tired. <sighs> but anyway, I've just been to see a really lovely couple in a village not far from my house. Um, they had a really bad situation with a pet sitter. She basically drank them out of house and home, their alcohol cupboard, and she lost the dog and didn't even realise she'd lost the dog. Uh, the dog was out all night, worked out from people that had spotted the dog that she had travelled about 25 miles and then she was... Uh, they, the first they knew about it was when they got a phone call from a vet saying that they had scanned the microchip of this stray dog and um, it was theirs and they were on holiday and they couldn't get hold of the woman and nobody was answering the door. They'd got builders in who were landscaping the garden and they couldn't get hold of us. In the end, one of them went into the house because the doors were all unlocked just to see whether or not, you know, this woman was still alive and it turns out that this woman was comatized and drunk. 
and yeah so their experience was very very bad and so I wanted to reassure them that basically that my well, first thought I said I'm not really interested in your alcohol tea bags however <laughs> I said, so you're not going to worry about that and then they said they were reassured just by the fact that I have you know said that I've got forms to fill out um so, you know my insurances and everything like that and that there are various forms I need them to fill out before I would do the pet sit so um when I come back off holiday I'm actually literally the night I come back off holiday I'm then going to this job I mean I I'll sleep in my own bed at some point over April and uh, August and September maybe no I won't <laughs> No, maybe the end of September I'll end up in my own bed. I don't know. But August I'm not sleeping in my bed. Or one night in August I'm sleeping in my own bed. Um, but this basically starts from Tuesday of next week. I am out. And including our little holiday that Lee and I have got. Yeah. It's going to be chaos. Anyway. Oh well. It's interesting. It keeps my life busy. I am going to go um, and pick Kenzie up. But I'm just going to go and see if there's any yummy stuff in this shop before I go and do that. I've got half an hour so I can have a little peruse around um, and see if there's any, I just don't know how fancy, there's a, it's a, there's a nice farm shop where I'm parked at the moment and I just think maybe there might be something nice and tasty and unusual. Farm shops are good for that and then I'll go and get Kenzie. <laughs> 